Hello, everybody. We are right here on the hour. I know sometimes it takes Zoom a minute or two to load. Last time I tried to uh, get on Zoom, it made me do an update. So I understand there may be a couple of people who are still trying to get the program updated. But for those of you who are here and on time, what we're going to do is practice with the Q&A section. I know a few of you have been on webinars with me before, so you're probably familiar with what to do here. But find that q and a section of the control panel and type in where it is you are calling in from. We are going to read those out loud as we wait another minute or two for folks to get on here. And I see even before I started, Rich uh, sent a message and he said, hi from Grand Rapids, Michigan. So thank you, Rich. I'm glad to see that you know the drill here. But the reason we're gonna type in where it is we're calling in from is because sometimes there are people who are right down the street from you who are also looking at the same opportunities and that's pretty neat to know. All right, so going down the list here, we have Betsy in Walnut Creek, California. We have Robert M in New York City, Michael P in Oakville, um, Ontario, I think it is. Uh, Tom A in Wisconsin, Marianne H from Frisco, Texas. Susan S. from Seattle, Washington. Cheryl, hello Cheryl. It's Cheryl W. from Gardner, Kansas. Kent O. from Texas. Jeffrey H. from Santa Ana, California. James B. from Michigan. David Myers from Tucson, Arizona. Kim B. from Klamath Falls, I am, or Fast. I apologize if I got that wrong. Oops, right. We got Sean M. from New Orleans, Louisiana. We have Joe N in Pittsburgh, Frederick M in Port St. Lucie, Florida. I know somebody else in Port St. Lucie, Florida, very neat uh, small area. We have Rick Walker in Nevada, um, Lisa S in Columbus, Ohio, Eric F in Kelowna, Canada. Here there's great wine in Kelowna. Judy B in Birmingham. We have Odyssey, in, or it says Rich rather from Las Vegas, Nevada. Mike H from Frisco, Texas. Robert M. from New York, Long Island, Eric from Cuenca, Ecuador, Naomi and Dave in Green Valley, Arizona, Barb M. in California as well, Eric F. in British Columbia, Emilio in St. Martin in the Caribbean, awesome, David S. in Mesa, Arizona, Rex in West Lafayette, Indiana, James from Valrigo, Florida, Robert in New Jersey, and it just keeps going here, awesome. So I'm glad that you got familiar with where the Q&A section is because that's where we're going to type in any questions that pop in into mind during this session. So keep that handy. We are going to make sure that we get to the questions at the end. We have slotted about an hour for this webinar. We are also recording it. So you will get a copy of the recording after if you'd like to rewatch it, if you'd like to share it with any friends and family it will be coming straight to your inbox. So with that, let's get started. I am very excited to talk to you today about a new opportunity uh, with us at ECI Development located on Ambergris Key, Belize. As I was going through that list earlier, I saw a lot of names that I recognize. I thank you for your interest, your continued interest. I know a handful of you have had the opportunity to come down and visit us before, or perhaps meet us in person at a conference. Some of you are some new names, so I'm looking forward to getting to know you throughout the session here, and then of course afterward. You know, at the end of the day, what this really comes down to is understanding what you're looking for. And a lot of times when I'm chatting with folks, there tends to be a little bit of an overlap. Some people are looking for a rental property, but they're also looking for a residential place or a place that they can spend a good part of the year. And Mike, I saw that you were on here, Michael R. Um, we were chatting about this yesterday. A lot of us though want the best of both wor worlds. We want a rental property where we can also uh, live for some good part of the year, probably during the winter season, but really it's up to you to understand what it is you're looking for because the different opportunities one may fit better for you than the other, just depending on what your ultimate goals are. And some of you on the, on the line may have no idea what you're looking for. That's okay. We're at least going to be going through the opportunities and help break it down for you. So a little bit about me. My name is Rachel Jensen. I'm the Vice President of Sales for ECI Development. I saw a few fellow New Yorkers here on the line. Uh, I grew up in Westchester, New York, made my way down to Latin America about eight years ago, initially moved to Nicaragua. Uh, when I was in Nicaragua, I was going back and forth to Belize all the time and ultimately just fell in love with Belize, the people, the culture, the atmosphere, the vibe. It was a very relaxed, 
uh, way of living, very, very opposite from the traditional New York hustle and bustle. So I, I really grew um, accustomed to it. I really enjoyed it and decided to make Belize my permanent home. Now, uh, like a lot of folks, it was a little bit of a scary experience at first, but ultimately was able to find a home there. And of course, I uh, had some great support as well. But I think for a lot of people on the line, uh, maybe looking at real estate in another country is new for you. Uh, we understand that at ECI, we have a tremendous amount of resources that are available to you. We'll offer those for you at the end of the session here. But we want to make this process and this transition as easy for you as possible. I understand that the, the real estate transactions and the process between Belize and the United States or North America are completely different, but we are here to help you through that process. So I am personally a real estate investor uh, in the US, also in Belize and Latin America as well. So happy to share those sort of experiences with you as we get to know each other. Uh, there are a few of our other team members. I do like to put them on the screen as well because you will probably be hearing from them at some point. You may have started to hear from them already. If so, we wanted to put a little bit of the names to the faces. So we have Joe, uh, Natalie, James, Betsy, Kirby, and Diego. So be on the lookout for messages from them. Um, I'm sure that they'll pop in and say hi at some point. And I wasn't planning on this, but I think I saw Mike Cobb here on the presentation. Mike, are you on? I am. Oh, you are? So I know we didn't discuss this, but um, I didn't have your face up there, but this is a very special treat. Mike Cobb is the CEO of ECI Development. He helped to found the, com the company over 20 years ago. And while we have you here, Mike, why don't you just say a couple of words about who you are, why you started uh, the development company, and anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, well, it's it's nice to be here. And uh yeah, I, I like the the team picture. That's that's excellent, <laughs> and, we, we, and we do have a great team. You know, and 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 I guess that's really fundamental, right? We we did. We started this business. Uh, we're in our twenty fifth year of business now, and you know, over the years, we've really put together a, a, a seasoned team of professionals. You you've certainly been with us a long time, and and uh, you know, lead this team of sales executives who who really do a great job of working with clients and and. And folks to, to identify what's important, right? Mm -hmm. Because, and I heard you talking about one of the folks that's on the webinar with us, they're looking, you know, that, that specifically he, he was looking for both rental and, you know, vacation, right? And, and, and that's important to understand because, you know, some people want only rental income. Some people really want a property that they can use six months out of the year, full time. And, and we do a lot of all of that. Our, our business has always been to listen to the consumer find out what they're looking for, and then serve the consumer with what they want. And, and it's been a, a very powerful model over the years. Uh, I assume today's webinar is specifically about the fleet and the Best Western. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and for the folks who are on, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm just, it's unbelievable the number of folks. I heard you reading off where everyone was from, but I think you only got maybe a quarter of the way through the list of folks. I mean, the, 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 this webinar is in, incredibly well attended. Uh, precisely because, you know, the, the, the price point of a branded product. Uh, I just wrote an article uh, very recently, I think I, I published it last week, uh, and w some of the research that, that went into this uh, really came from a, a concept or a, an idea that I had back when the COVID pandemic started. I mean, we started to see all this fear and uncertainty in the marketplace, and we still have a lot of fear and uncertainty, and, and I think this is going to linger for a long, long time, uh, certainly longer than, you know, the pandemic itself. I mean, the, these, these feelings that, that the panic and, the, and, that, and that uncertainty that came with not knowing what was going to happen when, how long it's going to last, you know, people's jobs have been lost, people have been furloughed, uh, you know, big companies are, 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 are unsure on how to proceed, right? And all of this uncertainty in the marketplace, I think, you know, I thought, and now the data is proving it out, you know, leads to people wanting certainty in their products. And, and that means brands, whether it's at the very low end, whether it's Dollar General store, people are flocking to the Dollar General, you know, or it's McDonald's or, or it's, a, you know, it's a Best Western in this case or a Marriott property. Because when people have a, a you know, they, they have that fear and uncertainty and they want a product. So they've, they've got limited means. Maybe in the past, they've taken four or five vacations a year, right? I mean, or short, long weekends, whatever it was, right? 
And if you messed up, you went to an Airbnb and it wasn't so great, well, that's all right. You know, three months from now, we're going to do it again somewhere else, right? It wasn't a big deal. But when all of a sudden people have to really understand that, hey, I've got one vacation this year with the family. We got to make this count. And we want to have the highest degree of probability that we're going to have the vacation experience you know, that, that we're looking for. You know, people go to brands. And, and about three weeks ago, I actually found an article which I forwarded to the sales team. And in fact, some of the folks on this webinar may have received an email from our sales team with this article. Uh, it was an, an article in a, in a magazine that I subscribe to called Travel Pulse. Uh, and and uh, it's a trade rag, right? I mean, it's a, it's a very specific, you know, trade magazine for people in the travel industry and in the hospitality industry. And, and what they found was that search, right? People were searching because you can measure the Google measure, you know, Yahoo, all these, these uh, search engines measure who's searching for what. And we're talking about millions and millions of searches now. So it's huge aggregate data. What they found was 68, 69% of the searches for hotels specifically were brand, like there they were brands mentioned in the search criteria. And that's up uh, over 50% from where it was same period one year ago. And so, you know, what I thought might happen because of the fear and insecurity uh, is actually proving out in the data now. Uh, and if you'd like to see a copy of the article, I know the, these folks on the screen here can send it to you. But the bottom line is this, and I'm going to get off and, and, and let you keep going, Rachel. Uh, sorry. You, you, hey, no, you're doing you, a great job, Mike. This is a great, a great article, so keep on you, going. You opened the door. I, you know, I'm, <laughs> But but it's I mean it, at one level it's very exciting stuff. I mean it's sad stuff, right? I mean this this COVID pandemic is horrible and it's sad and it's it's causing incredible disruption in people's lives, uh, you know, all around the world, not just in the U.S. and Canada, but but globally, right? Um, but the information coming out of it and what we're seeing um, it is is was somewhat predictable, and the data is now proving it out. Uh, people are going to be, they are looking for brands when they search for places and they're going to move towards brands. And, and then a price point brand like a Best Western, right? Where on an, on a, on a Caribbean Island, you know, a couple blocks off the water, you can stay for, I think our, I think our return on investment projections are based on a, I don't know, $125, $128 a night, uh, average daily rate. I mean, for 125, 130 bucks a night, uh, on a Caribbean island, that's that's very very affordable, um, and so uh, again, brand price point, all of these things melding together create a, a pretty unique and neat opportunity for uh, for the folks that want to get involved. Uh, you know, certainly as a as an investment, but also as a nice place to live. I mean, Grand Bayman Gardens. I, I don't know. We have 54 units that we've built and sold out at this point. What half a third, third to a half are occupied full time and right I know something like that I mean it, it's it's close to half uh, either owner occupied or long term rental because they're very livable units it's a beautiful garden community so it, it really does serve both very very well so um, I, I'm glad that all these folks have joined us today uh, uh, appreciate uh, your interest in what we're doing and uh, I'm going to hand it back over to Rachel but uh, I'm going to stick around Rachel so if we get to the end and there are any questions specifically for me I'll, I'll be here. Fantastic. Thank you, Mike. And thank you for joining. I uh, wasn't sure if you're going to be joining us or not. So it's a nice surprise. All right. So quickly to go through our agenda, we are going to go through what's going on in Belize right now. I have gotten that question many, many times from folks, and I do want to address it before we get started. We're going to go through why Belize, the property opportunity, specifically with the Best Western. There's a special gift that we have for you, and then go through your questions and answers. So you probably will have questions arise during the presentation. Feel free to jot those into that Q&A section that we practiced in before, and we will get those answered for you in the end. So I do want to address what's going on in Belize with regards to COVID. I was there for the first uh, few months of, of quarantine, and the country really did an incredible job at mitigating the spread of coronavirus. The first case was um, in March, towards the end of March, and then with that, there was an immediate response that was taken to really help mitigate the spread. Uh, it came in with somebody from the United States, and ultimately, we only got up to 18 cases, 
went about 54, 55 days without any new cases. And then there started to be repatriation uh, cruises and planes for folks who are Belizeans who are outside of the country who wanted to come back in. Uh, and then we had one more case that was brought into the country recently. Uh, the folks who are coming in though on those repatriation um, vehicles or, or flights or cruises do have to stay in a specific hotel for a full two weeks uh, as they quarantine so that the spread, that there is not a new spread. So we were happy to see that. But at this point, there were only 19 cases with that one active one right now. Uh, and when you compare that to the rest of the region, it truly is incredible to see the numbers that we have. So um, Belize is doing a tremendous job. But what that also means is the borders are currently closed like many other countries. The borders are currently closed for anybody who's not Belizean. So it does make it a little bit more difficult to come down and see us in person or see the properties if you haven't had the chance to do it. But we promise you, as does the Belize Tourism board that Belize is worth waiting for. Stay safe in the meantime. Hopefully uh, by the end of this year we'll be able to have visitors again. But what I do ask is if you haven't had the chance to visit and would like to meet us in person or see the properties, just let us know that you'd like to know when our discovery tour dates are. Uh, we do have those frequently and we of course will start up again as we are able to in the country. Um, what that also means is I know it's a little bit more difficult to, to purchase a property at this point. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to talk about a couple of, of incentives for you at the, towards the end of the presentation, which hopefully it'll make it a little bit easier for you. But for those of you who have been following us for a while, have met us in person, have been down to the properties, hopefully this is just that little nudge that you need to make that decision to own real estate in Belize. But there, I just highlighted a little bit more. Uh, Belize, we only did have 19 cases one active, the other 18 have passed. And it's neat to see that there was such a, a strong, I'd say strong unity within the country where everybody really wanted to get through this, wanted to fight this. Um, the country is still open with internally. So if you are there currently, you are able to travel around the country. Tropic Air, one of the domestic air carriers is flying around the country. You're able to hop on a boat. So there is still some tourism that is happening, but it is amongst locals and folks who are living in Belize. So today we are going to specifically focus on the Best Western. Uh, Mike alluded to this a little bit when he chatted before, but at ECI Development, which he is a co-founder of, is a multinational real estate development company started over 20 years ago, about 25 years ago at this point, uh, with the purpose of serving not, prime, not only North Americans, at first it was primarily North Americans, but helping folks find property overseas in another country that is built well, built to the standards that they're expecting. Because if you've been down to this region before, you see that it's not always built to the same standards. So we wanted to be able to offer folks affordable luxury products without having to have any concern. So a little bit of our timeline, I'm not gonna go through all of this entirely, but we have been in the region in Central America since 1998. That's when we first picked up the first beachfront property in Belize, which is currently, uh, well, it's gonna be a future Marriott. We, are, we have broken ground on that Marriott property, um, but we're gonna focus today on the Best Western specifically. So as you can see, we've had a lot of experience in the region. We've been in Belize for quite a bit of time. Uh, it is where many of us on our team do call home, specifically on Amber Grisky. And of course, we're happy to talk to you about our experiences there or what it's like to live or own real estate in Belize. So I didn't set, up, set this up as a poll, but all you need to do is go to the Q&A se section and type in A or B. And the question is, have you been to Belize yet? Type in A if you have been, or type in B if you have not been. A if you have been to Belize, B if you haven't been. And I'm gonna just do a quick scroll here to see, um, because sometimes we have more folks on the line who haven't been. And it looks like, I'm gonna just do a quick search here. It looks like it may be about 50-50. Yeah, it looks like it's about 50-50 there. So I'm going to keep the information hopefully new enough for the folks who have been. And for those of you who haven't been, uh, this will be some, some good new information for you. So uh, just some quick facts. The country is small. It is about the size of Massachusetts. Population is about 370,000 people. Um, so you can see why containing coronavirus was, was pretty critical with the location that we're in. We do have ties to uh, the Brits. It is a former British colony. 
Belize gained their independence in 1981, and the currency is pegged to the U.S. dollar. It's two Belize dollars to one U.S. dollar. So whenever you're in Belize, all you have to do is cut the numbers in half, the prices in half, and you will see that that is what the equivalent is in U.S. dollar. For the sake of this presentation, all of the real estate prices are going to be in U.S. dollars, so don't try to, to cut those in half. A couple of reasons why people have been exploring Belize. Uh, one of the top ones is because of the easy access from North America. We've seen over the past 12 years that there's been a tremendous amount of additional flights that have been added from North America, making it easy for people to get down. But from Miami, from Atlanta, from uh, Houston, Dallas, it takes about two hours, two and a half hours on a direct flight. In addition to this, and this is probably one of the biggest reasons that we're seeing people are buying real estate and vacationing in Belize, is because English is the official language. So that makes it very, very convenient whenever you're coming down on vacation or if you're ever going through paperwork, you will see that it is all done in English. So it adds a little bit of peace of mind there. In addition to that, there are strong banking laws. Uh, we have a webinar that's specifically on banking in Belize. If anybody wants to get a copy of that, just let us know. We'll be happy to send that over to you. In addition to this, we have very low property taxes. And there's a bit of a funny story. When we were uh, hosting a discovery tour, we were going through all the properties that ECI has in Belize. And we had a fellow there that kept asking about property taxes. Uh, and he was based in Florida. And so he said, how much for a, a one bedroom? annually for property tax. And we said about $350 US per year. He's like, all right, what about the two bedroom? What about the three bedroom? And he was waiting for us to get to that three, four, five thousand dollar a year mark, which is what he was just beginning to pay in Florida and then up for air, especially those folks in New York and other places. But uh, we, we do see that the real that the property tax are very, very affordable in Belize. In addition to that affordable Caribbean real estate, we're obviously going to go through a couple of examples here on the presentation. English common law, there are great investment incentives. And then the big one here, the increasing tourism, which if you're thinking about this ownership of real estate from the investment perspective, it is good to know that tourism has increased. Now, there'll be a little, a little bump in the road for uh, these past couple of months with everything going on, but uh, we do expect it to rise. I know my family was looking at coming down over the Christmas season this year and everything at this point uh, for they're looking is booked. So it is definitely going to come back. It's going to come back very strong, especially because of the proximity, because of the English as the official language. Uh, but we've seen here from the numbers over the past decade that tourism growth in the country has just continued on an upward trend. Again, we'll have some, a little bump this year, but I think that we will continue to see an increase as the years progress. And again, if you're thinking about this from an investment perspective, it is important to know where the people are going. And I'm gonna quickly go through this real estate investment curve. And again, if you're looking at this from an investment perspective or an investor mindset, when you're going into an investment, you're typically looking for one of two things. You're looking for rental income or you're looking for appreciation. Now, if you're looking for rental income, you're probably gonna be looking at areas at the top part of the curve here, Pacific Costa Rica. We've all heard about Guanacaste and the Pacific coast of Costa Rica. That's been in this tourism market for 25, 30 years. It's done quite well. But real estate in Pacific Costa Rica is quite expensive because it has matured, it has plateaued, it had gotten to that point because there is a constant influx of tourists. Now, if you're looking for properties that are going to appreciate, then you're probably looking at properties here at the bottom part of the curve, Nicaragua, Caribbean, Costa Rica, Argentina, places that haven't really had that tourism boom yet, but you're able to sit on, sit on the property for 10, 15, 20 years, let it appreciate, hopefully it gets to the point where it's producing a mature cash flow. Now Belize is really at that spot, it's at the sweet spot on the curve where you're able to see appreciation and you are able to see cash flow. It hasn't yet plateaued like the Cancun or like the Pacific Costa Rica. It does have a lot of opportunity there where you'll see that appreciation, but you'll also see the cash flow come in from the rental perspective because we do have that increase in tourism every year. So Belize truly is at that hot spot, is the hot spot. It's at the sweet spot on the curve right now. And I do get folks who say, you know, I wish I knew about this five years ago or 10 years ago or 15 years ago. Yes, but think about it from the perspective of five, 10, 15 years from now, you'd be pretty glad to know that you've owned real estate in Belize today or tomorrow versus 15, 20 years from now. So think about it from that perspective. It hasn't plateaued, but it's certainly getting more expensive every year.
A couple of points I do want to quickly uh, talk about, and we're gonna just jump on from this after. Number one is that there's really low rental income tax. And write this down, especially if you are a real estate investor, and actually just generally, even if you're just looking at properties, very low rental income tax, 1.75% for nightly rentals, 3% for long-term rentals. In addition, very low property tax. I told you $350 for a, a year, 350 US dollars for a year for a one bedroom. So really quite affordable. And in addition to that, there's no capital gains tax. So if today you decide that you want to own a Best Western suite for $100,000 and five years from now you sell it for, let's say $150,000, in Belize, there's no capital gains on that $50,000 gains. So very nice. This is, these are three of the top reasons why savvy real estate investors prefer to invest in Belize. A couple of cons I do want to mention is that real estate agents are not licensed in Belize. I know that our team and, uh, and we are working very closely with the Belize National Association of Realtors to start putting more regulations in place. But do note that if you are talking to any other real estate agents uh, at this point, they are not required to be licensed. So you just want to always do your due diligence and know who you're working with. In addition to that, there are higher upfront costs than we're typically used to. So in Belize, there is a standard 8% stamp tax. That's the title transfer tax uh, that is imposed by the government of Belize to title transfer from uh, to transfer a title from us to you. In addition to that, there can be attorney fees if you decide that you want to bring on an attorney, and it can be anywhere from an additional two to five percent, but you are not required to use an attorney for closing. So just bear that in mind. But think about it, you have these higher upfront costs, but then you have the lower uh, cost down the long run where you have the, the low income tax, you also have the low property tax there. Now, one other point I do wanna make, and this is true of quite a few of the Central American countries, is that titling can take time. So it's not uncommon for titling to take a couple of years in these countries. I know we work quite a bit in Panama as well, and Panama could be two, three, four years. It's standard, but if you have the agreement countersigned by both parties, that will uh, be enough for you um, as you move forward. So just do bear that in mind, but it is always good to know that upfront so that we set expectations. All right, so a little bit more about Ambergris Key. Ambergris Key is an island off of the coast of Belize mainland, and this little island, about 26 miles long, one mile wide at its widest point, produces 70% of the country's tourism revenue. So 70% of the tourism revenue comes from Ambergris Key. It really is spectacular. And so what a lot of these big brands have realized is that this is where they want to be. So uh, we did, as you might've seen, we had a Marriott announcement for our beachfront Marriott that uh, was a, in April of 2019. Then there are other big brands that were coming. There's a Hilton that opened in 2017. Uh, an autograph collection that made an announcement in March 2018, Black Ador Key, which is, which is uh, owned by Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, just an island away. There's also a Four Seasons. And then, of course, our Best Western, which made the announcement in March. Uh, and we are excited to be branding and opening, reopening officially in the next few months here as a Best Western. But when we take a closer look at Ambergris Key, the island is known as Ambergris Key, but where everything is really centered around is the town, which is known as San Pedro. And you see it circled here on the screen, but you may hear people use these two words synonymously. They'll say San Pedro and Ambergris Key synonymously. Um, they are a little bit different. Ambergris Key is the island, San Pedro is the specific town. And that's, that's where you tend to find uh, a lot of the activity. That's where you find a lot of the grocery stores, the souvenir shops, uh, the restaurants, the cafes, the clubs, the live music, everything really is centered around the San Pedro town. So uh, what, of course, this was what we were doing as investors and what you should be looking at as investors as well is really following the trend to understand what's going on in that marketplace. Now, over the past years that we've been there, we've been there for over two and a half decades, what we've seen is that there's been increased airlift. In addition to that, there have been big hotel brands coming, two of them uh, with us as ECI Development, and then there's record high tourism that continues to up every single year. And you should also be looking at the same thing if you're looking at opportunities from an investment perspective. You wanna look to see where airlift is and if there's been an increase in airlift over the past five, 10 years. 
You wanna see if there are any big hotel brands there. If not, are there starting to be hotel brands? Because that is a great sign of a market that is increasing. I'm going to assume that these airlines and these hotel chains do a tremendous amount of research to understand what the market looks like to make sure it's viable before they actually invest in these countries and these locations. And of course, the record high tourism, we've talked about that a little bit earlier, but we do see that it is continuing on an upward trend. So you're really finding the right opportunities, the right place at the right time. Here are some photos from you. This is from the 70s. These are actually pictures that one of my colleagues, Melissa, gave to me. She grew up on the island. And this is a picture from the 70s. And for those of you who've been to Ambergris Key before, I hope you can see my cursor here. I'm not gonna draw on the screen. Last time I did that, the computer froze. So hopefully you can see the cursor. But right over here in the back, the top back part of the, the picture where it's a bit looks like a big grass field, that is actually where the airstrip is today. The Tropic Air and Maya have their little uh, there are little booths there, but this is where the, uh, the airstrip is currently located today. We can see that there has been a tremendous amount of growth. And the nice part about Belize and Ambergris Key specifically is that it has been done sustainably. And right over here, if you follow my cursor again on the left-hand side, that's where that airstrip is in the picture that we were just looking at a little bit before. This is in the 80s. This is when they finally put that airstrip in. They put the little booth over here. I've had a couple of people I've been chatting with who told me that they have started coming to Belize in the 70s and the 80s, so this may look familiar to you. Sandy streets and, and sandy airstrips. And today, uh, there has been a, gro a big growth to be able to accommodate the visitors, the expats, uh, and the locals who want to be able to get around more easily. Uh, so it's also a really neat place. It's, there's a big Caribbean vibe there. Although we are part of Latin America, it is a little different in its identity. Uh, we do have that Caribbean feel there. It's a, a country of many different cultures. We have the Mennonites, uh, we have the Brits, we have Latinos, we have Mayans. It's really a really beautiful country. And one big reason why Ambergris Key is as popular as it is and has been popular for many decades is because of the reef. And you can see that there in the back part of the screen where the white waves are breaking, that's actually the reef, the, the Belize Barrier Reef. So a lot of people are coming to the country to dive and snorkel. And a fun fact is that we do get around by golf cart. So if you have uh, not had the chance to come down before, be prepared. You do need to bring your driver's license with you and be over 18, but you're able to rent a golf cart and, uh, and drive through the streets, which is, which is really a very unique experience picture from Central Park. And it's not uncommon either for kids to hitchhike a ride to school. So when you're down there, you may get a, a little hitchhike thumb from one of the kids. And so like I was saying before, Ambergris Key really has been very popular because of the reef here. Just a couple of examples of the dive sites there right off of the coast. You're there in five, 10 minutes. Uh, in addition to that, in addition to diving, there's great fishing, snorkeling, kayaking, water activities generally. So if you enjoy the Caribbean where it's 81 to 83 degrees year round, then you will definitely be able to get your fill there right off of the island. In addition to that, if you're not so much a water bug, we do have quite a few land activities. Lobster Fest, which occurs in June, June uh, next year. We are, uh, will be introducing lobster to the menu at this point because we do have a closed lobster season from February to June. June is when we reintroduce it. It's a lot of fun. People dress up like lobsters. There are lobster tastings everywhere. It's a really, really neat cultural experience. And then, of course, Wine Social's Costa Maya, which is a regional beauty pageant. And then a lot of the bars do host fun events throughout the week as well. And then if you are planning to move down to the country or planning to come down for a little bit more time and you like to get involved in the community, there are tremendous ways for you to get involved, uh, to participate in volunteer activities or community outreach. And I know Betsy's on the line with us. She is someone who's very, very active in the community and she'll be able to give you a couple ideas of what you're looking, of, of what you can do if you're looking to get involved while you're there. All right, so let's jump into the presentation now. Like I mentioned before, we are gonna be talking about the best Western opportunities specifically. Uh, our marketing team has informed me that we're gonna be doing more regular webinars of all of our products. So if you are interested in the Beachfront Marriott, just stay tuned for that webinar invitation. We will be hosting it at another point, but today we do wanna talk specifically about the best Western. And the reason why we wanted to start with, with this specific opportunity is because we've been getting a lot of inquiries from people 
who are looking for a plan B, who want to own real estate in another country, who don't want to be spending four, five, six hundred thousand dollars on a plan B. They want options. They may also want the rental from it. They may just want to hold on to it as a place that they can go in case they need to. Who knows? There are many different variations. Again, just coming back to what you're looking for. But this is one that I think many people will find attractive. So we are located technically within San Pedro town limits, but we are about half a mile south of the heart of the downtown area. For those of you who've been to Ambergris Key before, you know that we have three primary streets in San Pedro, Front Street, Middle Street, and Back Street. Uh, that's where you tend to find a lot of uh, the restaurants and shops and nightlife. We're located about half a mile south, right over here is our gardens community. And for a lot of folks, it really is a perfect location because you're out of this, this craziness of the downtown area. Uh, you're away from the tourists who are singing karaoke at two in the morning, but you still have quite a bit around you where you have the grocery store, you have the hardware store if you want it, you have the golf car rentals, you have live music, you have all of this around you. And we're gonna be talking about the Grand Bayman Gardens, which is right over here in this location. It's about a four minute walk to get from number four right over here uh, to the Grand Bayman Gardens community. So it's about two blocks, two, three blocks, very, very close uh, to the beachfront right there, uh, which is where the future Marriott property will be, where you see 679, that's the future Marriott property. So Grand Bayman Gardens today, uh, Mike mentioned this a little bit earlier, but we have sold and delivered 54 condos to owners. Uh, some owners have their condo uh, in the rental program, the nightly rental program, long-term rental program, and others don't have it in any sort of rental program. They kind of come and go as they please, or they live in it full time. So today we have four buildings that are up and operating. The Anchor Building, which is A, the Breeze Building, which is B, uh, or sorry, the Anchor Building, which is A, the C Building, which is Captain, D Building, which is Dolphin, and E Building, which is Explore. The Breeze is not yet up, and we will be talking about the Fleet Building specifically. So the Anchor Building, this was the first building that went up in 2013, sold out. Then the Captain Building, Dolphin Building, Explorer Building. And one of my favorite parts about the opening of the building is that we do invite the owners to come down to meet the other owners. Uh, in addition, of course, during the construction period, we send monthly updates to our owners with pictures in case you're not able to come down and visit us. But at the end, we invite you to come down. We want you to meet other folks there in the community. Uh, the Explorer building is where I purchased personally. Um, I was initially purchasing it to have it as an investment unit. Then I found myself at the paint store and looking at different furniture and realized that I was going to be moving into it. So I ultimately did that, but uh, with the Best Western, I will be updating it and then getting it into the Best Western rental program and then finding another place to live. But I do think that there is a tremendous amount of potential with having this property be branded as a Best Western and, uh, and do believe that it's gonna be a very, very big asset for the community of Amber Grisky. So we're gonna talk specifically about the fleet building. This is pre-construction. We are aiming to break ground in September, October of this year. It will be about a 10 to 12 month build period. So do bear that in mind as you're taking down your notes over there, breaking ground September, October of this year, 10 to 12 month period. So it'll be ready for high season of 2021. So that's great. We'll get the market back rebounded. People will be booking their vacations and we will be set to be entering the marketplace. Now, like I mentioned before that I think the Best Western really has an incredible potential in the, uh, in the marketplace on Amber Grisky because there's not really this market, this niche that's well served. You will find a lot of beachfront hotels, you know, beautiful beachfront hotels for three, four, five hundred dollars a night, but you don't really find the well-built moderately priced accommodations. And I think that that's important to note because a lot of times when you're doing your market research and understanding what the competition is, it's very difficult to find competition uh, like the Grand Bayman Best Western because there really isn't any in the area. Uh, we have amenities already in place and you can see that right over here, the pool, the tennis courts, the fitness club, this is already there for owners and guests to enjoy. We already do have four buildings up and operating. As you'll see, we still have a few more buildings to go here, but of course, over time, as more buildings are built, there is an increase in price. We call that a force appreciation to some degree, but there's a force appreciation with each building 
where they're getting more and more expensive. So this really is a great time to be coming in pre-construction. It's one of the first pre-construction uh, buildings under the Best Western name. So everything that's being built now going forward will be built um, to be served in the Best Western rental program if that's what you should choose. So I think it's personally at one of the best locations on the property. It's located on the most northern part of the property. From the third and the fourth floor, you do have view lines looking out to the bay. So you do have water views and you have sunset there as well. And then uh, from the lower floors, you have the gardens views as well. So I do think that it really is at a great location on the property. Uh, and I'm happy to talk to you a little bit more specifically about the views if you'd like to see that. So we did just get the renderings, the final renderings in from our architect. I love the building. I think he did a tremendous job with it. In addition to the four floors, there will be an elevator here, which is a little bit different than our other buildings, making it very, very convenient for our guests on all floors. And then there will be a rooftop lounge area. So even if you are on the lower floor and you got a great bottle of wine and some cheese from Wine Divine and you want to enjoy the sunset over the bay, you are still able to do that from the rooftop deck here. So uh, a very, very unique space for Ambergris Key and for Graham Bayman. Here are some updated renderings from the studio units. Our two bedrooms have sold out at this point, um, but just wanted to give you a little bit of insight about what those look like. And so we are gonna be talking specifically about the studios. Uh, I know for some of you who are looking strictly for investment, this is, is definitely the way to go. For those of you who are thinking more on a long-term scale, uh, but you don't necessarily need a lot of space, I think the studios make a lot of sense as well. Uh, there is an owner lockout closet there, and in the owner lockout closet, you can there's a washer dryer hookup. So if you do want a washer dryer there, you are able to put it in. But there's a kitchenette, so if you go over to Blue Water Grill and end up with some extra food, you can put it there in the in the fridge and then have it the next afternoon. But it is a very comprehensive condo. Uh, it is a little smaller in size. It's a bit cozy, but it does have everything there and it is placed so that it feels larger than it is. And in addition to that, but has in addition to that, it has a beautiful balcony, a beautiful terrace. A lot of the living in Belize is outside. So you will have incredible views right there uh, from the from the uh, balcony. And I wish I included this, but uh, one of my coworkers is, is staying at my place now and she sent over these incredible pictures from the balcony of an owl. And I wish that I included it, but there's an owl that hangs out there in one of the trees and she has captured some really incredible photos. If you like owls or you are a big birder, let me know and I'll send those over to you. It, it truly is remarkable to, remarkable to be able to see that right from the balcony. So here are some more renderings of the sailboat studio. And as you can see, it's a very well-placed condo. It has in there what you need. It has that kitchenette space. Uh, of course, it has the bathroom. It has the owner lockout closet where you can put a washer dryer as well if you do want those sort of amenities. But when we were designing these condos, what we really wanted to consider was convenience for our owner and renter. So one of the biggest conveniences, I believe, is the fact that this is going to be branded as a Best Western. And why that's important is because you're getting this recognition of an international brand. It's the seventh largest hotel chain in the world, the third largest hotel chain in North America, uh, and it, it continues to get tremendous reviews. So that makes it really convenient for you as an owner, knowing that you have a branded property, a brand behind your property for increased rentals and opportunities. In addition to that, you have the balconies, like we talked about a lot of Belize and living in Belize happens outdoors. And then amenities already in place. So there is the pool, the gym, the fitness club. Uh, there's also a the little uh, snack shack there. So while you're by the pool, you can grab some food or, or beverages. Again, very, very convenient, everything there on site. In addition to that, we are looking at opportunities for comfort. So what do our renters and owners want that's comfortable? Well, one of them is a connecting door. So you will see between the studios or between the two bedroom layout and then the studio that's adjacent to it, there are connecting doors between. And one of the big reasons is if you're bringing family down or you're coming down with friends and you need that extra bedroom, then you will be able to just open up that connecting door and see each other on the other side. Like we talked about that washer dryer hookup. I know for some people that is very important to have a washer dryer in the condo. And then of course the owner lockout closet. So even if you're looking at this opportunity from an investment perspective, let's say you're a big diver and you're looking at Belize in the first place because you enjoy diving, well, you can put your fins and your snorkel and your mask and everything there in the lockout closet, lock it up and know that next time you come down, it'll be there waiting for you. So the comforts and the conveniences that a lot of us are looking for that 
you know, strangely enough, you don't typically find across the board in Belize. So let's talk a little bit more about the sailboat studio. So the sailboat studio, like we said before, it has that owner lockout closet with the washer dryer hookup if you choose to put the washer dryer in there. In addition to that, it has the connecting door to the adjacent condo. In some cases, it is to another studio. In another case, it is to a two bedroom. <laughs> in addition to that, it has a kitchenette. So again, convenience of so coming home from the restaurant, storing your food somewhere, a large balcony. It has a very low and comprehensive COA, Condo Owner Association fee. I'd be happy to go through that with you more specifically if you'd like to know what's included, um, but it is quite a comprehensive COA fee. In addition to that, we have the professional management team there. Uh, 30, and I had a couple of people ask me if we're gonna talk about this during the webinar, so I just put in a quick blurb about it. But for the rental management, 70% of the net goes to the owner, 30% goes to the management company. Um, I'd be happy again to go through that with you. We can go through the performa and you can see how those numbers um, get to what they're at. And then in addition to that, there is increased rental exposure with the Best Western. And I cannot emphasize this enough, but I'm gonna do it in another slide. And then there's also financing available. So if you are looking for an opportunity, but you don't necessarily have 100% down, even though you are a foreigner looking at property in Belize, we do have opportunities for you to finance. So I do quickly wanna highlight some of the Best Western benefits. Best Western, as we said before, is the seventh largest hotel chain in the world. It's the third largest hotel chain in North America. And why this matters. This matters if you're thinking about an investment property because you want to think about the reach that your management company has to the outside world. Uh, we can tell you as a Grand Bayman, we'd be considered more of a, a mom and pop developer. We do our SEO, we do our Facebook marketing, we do our website marketing, but we don't necessarily have the same sort of reach that a Best Western would have when they're attracting people to the different properties. This is a huge advantage. Their job, Best Western's job is to put heads on beds. That's how they make money. So their primary goal aligns very nicely with yours, which is making as much money as possible. Now, in addition to that, they, there is a Best Western in Belize City. Belize, the Belize City Best Western is more so geared towards a business traveler, but what's really neat is that we can partner with them and do some sort of, hey, you done with business? Come on out to the islands and use your points that you've been accruing over your business travels and put those towards a vacation rental uh, on Amberger is key. So a lot of great benefits that you as an owner would enjoy and get to appreciate as well. Uh, in addition to that, they do have a, a top loyalty program. Uh, this is from an article here, but they, their, their loyalty program ranked uh, for the sixth consecutive year. So if you are a Best Western person, then this is great news for you. If you're not a Best Western program uh, or person, that, that's okay too, because if you're the owner, you're still gonna get the benefits of this loyalty program continuing to rank. So just some benefits for you to consider as well. And then of course, there is the return on investment. Um, for the full performa, please do email us, info at ecidevelopment.com. I did a little bit of copying and pasting here so that we were able to get as much uh, on the screen. The chart's kind of long and it was just a lot of information. So to make it quick and easy for you to see, uh, we did run a couple of different scenarios. Uh, we received the industry standard case uh, that you see on the left-hand side um, based on the numbers that we received from the Best Western in Belize City, so based on their occupancy and their average daily rate. And then the conservative case is what we ran based on the numbers that we see today at Grand Bayman that is not based on a rental, a big brand name rental. So again, you can see that the numbers there are quite nice. Uh, the first year net return on investment, so this is after everything is paid, uh, it looks to be about 10%. And then for a conservative case, so again, based on it being uh, the numbers that we've seen, it's about 7% and then that grows over time. So if you would like to see the full performa, just email us, I'm gonna leave it there on the screen for a second, info at ecidevelopment.com, and then just there in the subject line, type in fleet return on investment or fleet ROI, and our team will know exactly what to send you. All right, so uh, what I'd like to offer, because I always like to reward people who are here taking action, of uh, figuring out what their next best step is, is we would like to offer $5,000 off the condos 
Um, and we've only been able to offer that for, for three studios in order to make our numbers work. We can only do it for three studios. But if we see here, if you're deciding that you want to finance 50% or you want to pay cash, normally it is about 99,000, but with $5,000 off, your turnkey price is under $107,000. Under $107,000. If you would like to, we, we, and this is brand new. We just offered, um, opened an opportunity where you can finance 80%, but do you know that there is a little bit of a premium for that, but with the $5,000 off your turnkey price gets you still under $120,000, which really actually is incredible for in a property on Amber Grisky that is brand new under a branded hotel name. So do note there, these are really incredible opportunities. We only have three studios that we're able to do this for. And so if you'd like to claim one of those, do note that you're able to put down a $999 refundable deposit. We'll send you the paperwork. And then if you decide you don't want to move forward for some reason, we'll refund you that deposit back. Um, but if you would like more information, just feel free to info at ecidevelopment.com with subject line fleet webinar. And we'll make sure that we get those details to you. Now, what I've done is I've gone through the available condos that are remaining at this point. And so I highlighted what I personally think to be the three remaining condos that are the best. And I'll explain to you why I think they are the three best. And then if you have any interest in them, just put that there in your email, we'll get those details to you. Uh, but the first one that I think is a really great option is studio number 100. It is on the first floor and it's a corner unit. And I know people do like that corner unit because you have the extra window there and it feels a little bit more spacious, uh, but do note that it is unit number 100, jot that down if you're interested, or unit 102. And the reason I chose the first floor is because people like the first floor convenience. Although we will have an elevator, they don't wanna deal with the elevator or the stairs, especially if you have luggage or if, you have, if you're going grocery shopping or you have your pool noodles or something like that, just easy in and out. So just something to consider, you get 100, which is the corner, 102, which is more of the center, but it is still convenient because of that first floor. Uh, the other one that I think is a real winner is also number 300. This is on the third floor. This is a studio, um, $90, $98,600 plus the closing cost of furniture, but just also take off that $5,000. I apologize, I didn't take that off here. Um, but that's also a great option as well because it's the corner and it's a little bit higher of a view. From the third floor, you should have views of the bay and the sunset as well. But even if you're on the first floor, do remember that we will have that rooftop area for you to enjoy. So um, quickly though, I wanna go back to this because I know it's very difficult for people to travel right now. Um, getting on a plane and visiting Belize is not necessarily something that you're able to do. So the folks I know who have been down to Belize before and met us in person have a little bit of an advantage. Uh, but what we're, what we're willing to do is work with you. Um, you can put down that $999 deposit and then when you're able to travel again, come down and see the property. And if for some reason you don't want that specific condo or you don't wanna be an owner with us for some reason, we will resell that condo for you. Um, so you won't necessarily have any risk there. We will make sure that it is sold for you. Um, and that you don't necessarily feel like you did something like a big oopsie. We want all of our owners to be happy with their purchase. Uh, and of course, we wanna be able to provide you with as many resources as possible, especially because you're not able to get down right now. So we do have videos uh, of the property. We do have photos that we can send you as well if you'd like to, to see it a little bit more in depth. So just a quick recap, uh, studio number 100, studio number 102, and then studio number 300. Those would be my three recommendations and just shoot us an email if you'd like a little bit more information. All right, so this brings us to the next poll, unofficial poll, but are you considering real estate in Belize for investment or lifestyle? Type in A if you're looking at real estate in Belize from an investment perspective. Type in B if you're looking at it from that lifestyle perspective where you wanna move down there and, and be there more full time or maybe you just wanna own, lock and leave a situation or C, an investment now, live later. So you want to invest now, you understand real estate prices are going up, and then at some point you want to live there, or D, a mix of both. Just put that in there, the q and I'm going to do a quick look here and see where we're at. All right, so uh, D, I see D, D, A, C, D, 
D. It looks like we have a little bit of both C, D, B, A. All right, so it looks like primarily D. A lot of, well, it's a little bit of a mix here. I, I don't want to say it's exactly 25, 25%, uh, but it does look like it is a really good mix. So awesome. All righty, so what we're going to do, I invite you to join the ECI development family. Uh, we are a very close-knit group of individuals. A lot of that is because, you know, we're, we're the weirder ones in the, the families, the ones who look at ownership overseas where, you know, maybe you just have the family members like mine who looks more at that stock and stocks and bonds and doesn't really leave the New York Stock Exchange. But uh, I think it's very, very wise of you to be looking at real estate overseas, especially in Belize, easy to get to English as the official language. And of course, working with developers who have been in the region uh, for over two decades at this point. Uh, we do invite you to join the family. If you would like to, to talk to any of our other owners or, or clients or shareholders uh, before you get involved, do let us know and we would be happy to introduce you to them as well. And as a thank you, we do have this Belize Tourism White Paper. So this is based on a study of the market. Uh, for our Mar Marriott property, we did have to have a third party analyst come down and do his own separate analysis of the opportunities in Belize. So we are gonna be sending this over to you. This will come via email in the next couple of hours, but you'll be getting a copy of this and it'll talk more about the tourism market in Belize, but also more specifically on Ambergris Key since that's where the focus is. So I'm gonna leave this up for now and what we'll do here, oh, well, we have about five more minutes, but what I'll do is we'll extend it a little bit longer to make sure that we're getting through the questions. And, um, and I know that there's a lot here. So I'm going to just go through these. Mike, if you have anything else you want to add in the meantime, feel free to as I go through. Otherwise, I'll just read the questions out loud and we'll get them answered. Oh, Rachel, thank you. I, I don't have anything specific to add, but uh, here to answer any questions that people might have. All right, fantastic. Barb M asked, in future buildings, will elevators be a feature? Yes, Barb. Um, the reason the other buildings don't have elevators is because they're two, three story. But once you get to that fourth story or, or higher, you really do need an elevator there. So yes, great question. Thank you. Um, Bradley asked, what is the hurricane situation? Can you obtain insurance? Yes, I'm glad that you brought that up um, because the reality of Amber Grisky and Belize is that we are in a hurricane zone. So, you know, when you're buying property in Florida, you know that you're in a hurricane zone. In New Orleans, you know you're in a hurricane zone. So we do build all of our buildings to hurricane category five standards. Uh, ultimately, it's brought down to category four because of the windows that we bring in. They're double pane windows, but they only go up to category four. So uh, we, we build to uh, the proper standards. There is also insurance, and because we build to the proper standards, our insurance tends to be less than other buildings that aren't built to hurricane standards. But yes, uh, you can obtain that, and that is going to be in the performa. You'll see what that insurance number looks like as well. Uh, Krista asked about, did you mention what the, what the financing interest rate is? So Krista, really great question. It just depends on if you're financing 50% or 80%. Uh, and just jot this down here because there are a few different numbers, but our team can also go through the specifics with you. If you're financing 50%, so you put 50% down, the interest rate is 6.9% interest. There is a five-year balloon and a 30-year amortization. You are always welcome to refinance at the end of that five-year balloon with KeyBank. Um, and in addition to that, and what I always recommend is paying down the principal over that five-year period so that your balloon payment is less. Now, if you're financing with the 80%, the interest rate is 2.9%. If you're financing with a three-year balloon, 30-year amortization, and if you're financing it at 80% with a five-year balloon, the interest rate is 4.9%. So again, I know that's a lot of numbers there, but what we'll do is email you if you want to see more of a breakdown. We also have the balloon calculator, and we can send those charts over to you as well. Uh, Michael asked, any info on the furniture package? Yes, so I'm gonna actually answer a question that you didn't ask <clears throat> and then get into this a little bit more specifically. If you are interested in putting your condo in the Best Western Rental Program, you are obligated to purchase the furniture package. It's $5,500 for the studio, but it includes everything that you need in order to be in the Best Western Rental. Um, if you are not interested in being in the Best Western Rental Program, then you can do what you please. Of course, to make it easier for yourself, we do recommend that you, you purchase the furniture package 
or if at some point you want to put it into the Best Western Rental, but um, it includes everything and we have a list if you'd like to see a list of, of what that includes. Um, Myra asked, what is the kitchenette? So the kitchenette will include a mini fridge, it'll include a microwave, a coffee pot, um, it has a little sink there as well, and then it'll have um, some silverware, some plates, uh, mugs, uh, and cups as well. So pretty, pretty basic, but it has what you need in order to heat up the leftover food. Susan, yes, just talked about the interest rate. Again, Susan, if you would like uh, just more specific numbers, happy to get that to you as well. Uh, David asked, is there a hospital on Ambergris Key? Really great question, David. So there's no hospital at this point. There are a handful of clini clinics, both private and public. Um, a new clinic just came to the, the uh, island a couple months ago. Uh, it's the Belize um, Medical Associates BMA. It's one of the best uh, clinics in the country, I would say. They have a branch on, in Belize City as well. They brought a branch over to Ambergris because they realized the demand for it. So that while there is not necessarily a proper hospital, there is a clinic that does a very, very good job. Uh, Tom, thank you. You asked about the furniture package. The question that wasn't asked, but we answered. Um, the furniture package is Best Western approved. It is not individual owner style, especially if you do want to put it into the rental program. Uh, just simply because we think about when you go to a hotel and you see the pictures online of, of the, the standard room or the deluxe room, they all have that same furniture package. So you do want to make sure that it is aligned. Uh, Michael P. asks, has anyone not pursued it with, proceeded with the two bedroom? They are all sold at this point, uh, but we will let you know if any of them do open up in the future. We have Galaxy, it comes up as Galaxy S10e. I don't know exactly what your name is, I apologize. Uh, but looking for his, his uh, studio for his brother who owns a tour company, perfect. Just let us know um, who that is because it says Galaxy S10e and we'll certainly get you uh, the details. Bradley W, do you have to sub I uh, your unit for rental? I'm guessing, do you have to put your unit in the rental program or can you live there? You can live there if you choose to do that as well. Um, so totally up to you as to whether you put it in the Best Western Rental Program or if you do want to live in it. Now, if you do want it to be rented, uh, you cannot put it on Airbnb. You can't do any of that because it does have to be rented through the Best Western to make sure that the standards are being upheld. All right, I'm seeing financing here. So it says anonymous attendee. Uh, I don't know who that is. I apologize, it says anonymous attendee, but we'll, have, we'll be happy to send you the financing. There is financing options uh, if you wanna finance 50% and then also 80% as well. Zena, really good question here. She asks, uh, can I use a self-directed IRA? And the answer to that is yes. Uh, we do have a couple of recommendations if you don't have any self-directed IRA companies in mind, but we'd be happy to introduce you to those as well. Eric, great question. Will the studios be open as long-term rentals or only overnight stays? Um, if you want it to be, it'll be branded as a Best Western for overnight rentals. Long-term, it won't technically be part of the Best Western uh, but it will be rented through us as a management company. So very, very good question. All right, I'm seeing a lot of questions here. Yes, Mike asked about Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is included, uh, Wi-Fi, the internet and cable is included in the Condo Owners Association. So we can certainly get that to you. Robert asks about experts on purchasing. Robert, if you don't mind just sending us an email to info at ecidevelopment.com and we'll make sure that we get you those IRA recommendations as well. Alrighty, I'm seeing a lot, a lot of questions here. What we're going to do is make sure um, your specific property consultant gets in touch with you. Uh, again, this presentation was recorded, so we will make sure that you get a copy of the recording. Do you know that it takes sometimes a little bit of time for it to upload, but I'd say over the next couple of hours, you should have that in your inbox. Uh, if you'd like any information sooner than that, just email us right there on the screen, info at ECI Development, and we'll be in touch. Thank you everybody for joining us tonight. I look forward to seeing you at some point in the near future in person. And in the meantime, have a really great rest of your day. We'll chat soon. Bye-bye.